guys just outscore the other team where your defense isn't where you want to be, but you know you can outscore another team? Uh, well, was, you know, uh, we had to, our energy, we had to find it somewhere to start the game. You know, we were soft for us. Um, but, you know, you don't have games like that. You don't have games where you just got to, it's going to be a slugfest. You know, we were trading baskets for it at one point. Uh, they went on a couple of runs. There's going to be times where, you know, you got to, you know, definitely got to come out and, and maybe try to outscore a team, you know, because they're hitting, they were, they, they caught fire there early on, shot 51%. We definitely don't want that. Definitely want to do some things better on the defensive end, but for the most part, um, you know, we got stops when we need them. You know, we made huge plays, got rebounds, and um, kicked out for easy shots. So, you know, guys came to play, you know, we picked the energy up there a little bit later, and um, our crowd was definitely into it tonight. Over that last miss to get that 30 30 30 game? No. Yeah, I missed the layup. I missed wide open pull up, so it's not just that shot, but I guess the last one is always looking at the most. Uh, but I had plenty of chances to do it, that's so all I want me. I got to finish those shots. Kevin, uh, what does it say about how Draymond is playing? You know, he's so close to triple doubles most nights, and yeah. as much as everybody else is scoring, what he's doing to create. Well, Draymond doesn't care about scoring. You know, we want him to be more aggressive than what he is. And, you know, we all get on him when he doesn't shoot those wide open threes or he's not aggressive in the post. But 11 assists, leading us in assists, rebounding well, playing extremely great defense, three steals, two blocks. You know, just putting the, putting together an all around game. That's what we need him to do. You know, he's he's more of a you know uh, a blue guy than just a, a flat out scorer. He can go and throw a stat sheet up on the score column, but. He'd rather do everything else. So 11 assists, seven rebounds, three steals, two blocks. That's that's more what he cares about than anything. And just kind of anchoring the defense when he's in the game. So and um, you know, so he's making great passes for us, screening for us, and uh, just making the correct play. Down the stretch, this is really the first post game you've had where you've still been behind. You played with that lineup with Draymond at center. What was that like for you playing with all that space and that, that, that frenzied pace? Oh, well, it was good. You know, they were they were doubling stuff off the pick and roll, and he was making a correct play, and Draymond getting into the paint, making the right passes. You know, Clay caught fire in the fourth, and we moved the ball. 33, 32 assists, first 16 turnovers. We can live with that any night. So, um, but that small lineup was good, and switching everything, and making them shoot contested the shots over us. That's what really won us the game late in the fourth. They got out there a bit, but, you know, I think we had a few stops in the row and we got out and get some scores. I know it's pretty much you and Draymond protecting the rim. You guys got some big blocks. What do you guys need to do to make that work defensively back there? Uh, I think we're doing a good job of, you know, figuring things out. Just communication has to be a little better and you know, talking about the switches, but this is the NBA. Guys are going to make shots over you, um, but you want to shoot, make them shoot the tough ones. And tonight they hit some tough ones. Booker hit some tough ones. Warren is a tough one. So uh, for the most part, man, when you get a hand up and, and try to get out there and rebound and, uh, and push the ball, I think that's what's, that's to our advantage, use our athleticism. So defensively, we keep everything in front and help each other rebound, we'll be fine. Katie, um, Steph. I don't know if it's because you're so long, but are you, do you get a sense of how impactful they are in the game? Um, the one I had today, I can, I can kind of feel the energy in the arena. Um, but uh, you know, just just trying to help my team and you know make guys shoot over my length. I still jump, try to block shots too much. I, I got a couple fouls. I'm getting a couple fouls off of guys pump faking me and getting up in the air and getting fouls. So I got to be better in that area. But um, you know, coach just wants me to protect the rim and try to do my best to protect the rim. So uh, you know, I've been uh, been learning a lot about the defense and how I could be better. And I think that's one area where I have to improve and I have to be consistent with it every game. Do you find joy in them? Yeah, it's definitely fun, especially when you can get out, you can get a block and it leads to a, a score and a, a deep three. Um, from Steph, that definitely helps. <laughs> Last one, Marcus. Uh, you, you obviously know Steph. Big over mode and you're his teammate. You seem to be really excited about it. Yeah, I mean, we want to be aggressive, man. You know, we feed off of that. You know, he kind of he kind of gets us started almost every game where he, you know, uh, when we need a, a extra jolt of energy, come down and make shots. And, you know, uh, but also making the right play, uh, screaming for guys. You know, he's just doing it all as far as you know, being a, a complete, uh, complete player. So six rebounds, six assists. That's what we need from him. Two steals, and 
you know, the shooting is something we never worry about. But when you see him get it going, you know, it's just it's fun to watch. It's fun to watch, and he just goes about it so humbly and so humble, and he's so humble when he does it and just plays the right way. And, you know, so it's pretty cool to watch.